Hey guys, it's Toasted Baby. I am coming at you today with a tutorial for something that has been highly requested of me. It is the uh, a tutorial on how to do custom textures for a portal, or since we are in the uh, 1.5 snapshot and or 1.5 full release, with the built-in HD texture support and block animation slash item animation, which is, they have the individual files, which is why you can see the lines in between the blocks right there. Uh, it has built-in HD or HD textures and animation support, so you can make this animation for any block you want. You can do obsidian, sandstone, even the items, like as I did with our redstone and glowstone. But today we're going to be doing an animation for uh, the portal animation. Right now I have Niancat. This is what I've always been using, and this is what I'm going to show you how to do. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, we are at Google right now. First thing you want to do is get a GIF of your choosing. We're going to go ahead and try a Niancat GIF. There we go. And one, one that's square, 400 by 400. That's perfect because, remember, the blocks in Minecraft are square. So you want one that is as square as possible. If you get one that's letterboxed or uh, like kind of like widescreen, so it's wider than it is tall, you're going to have to squish that together so the image is not going to look as good as it would with something that you got square to begin with. So let's go ahead and view original image. There we go. We're going to want to save this to a folder where we can easily access it. So I'm going to save it to a folder that I have on my desktop, the custom portal folder. I'm going to go ahead and rename it to Niancat. There we go. It's now saved, and we're going to head over to a program called Earthen View, which is a program that we're going to use to extract every single frame of this GIF so we can uh, turn it into an animation for Minecraft. All right, guys, we are in Earthen View right now, the program that we're going to use to get the image frames. And first thing, or actually first things first, open up the GIF that we are using. So custom portal, neancat.gif, perfect, just where we want it. There is the GIF that we're going to use. Now we just want to extract the frames from it. So we're going to go to Options, Extract All Frames, have the folder selected, and make sure you save them as PNG images because that is the image format that Minecraft uses. Going to go to Start. It has now extracted all the frames of this animation to the uh, folder that we selected. Now we're, want to, now we're going to want to go to Image, Create Panorama Image, and make sure Vertical is checked because we want the images on top of each other. Now we just want to select all the images, going to go to our file, Niancat frame 1, so we're going to select that and then go down to 12, hold shift and click that so it selects all those different frames. Open, so we have all them selected and we're going to go to create image. There is the image that we're going to use, we just need to save that now, so file, let's go to save as and we have it in the uh, custom portal folder that we're going to use, so we're going to name it portal because that is the image name that is in the uh, that is in the uh, minecraft.jar folder so save perfect now we have the image saved we just need to go to uh, paint.net and resize it and just fix a couple details in it so we're gonna head over there alright guys we're in paint.net this is the program that I prefer to use for all my photo editing because it is free and it has quite a uh, couple good features on it. So first things first, you see down here it is 400 by 4800. What we want to do is rescale that. We're going to go to for a, a 64 by 64 uh, pixel image per block. So what we want to do is image, resize, and we want to maintain aspect ratio. And we're, so we want to do wide is 64 and automatically scales it to 768 long. And resampling, we're want, going to want to go to nearest neighbor because this keeps kind of like the uh, pixelation going on. So it keeps it pixelated and doesn't blur the image. So we're going to want to go to OK. There we go. Now it is 64 by 768. And then the next thing that we want to do is add some transparency to it because if you look, it's not solid, but portal uh, portals in Minecraft are a little bit transparent. You can see through them. So the way that we add transparency is go to layers layer properties, and then opacity. So the one that I use is about 180. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. 180, there we go. Now you can see that you can see the uh, background through it. And I have the uh, pixel grid on, that's what these are. So each one of these little squares right here is a pixel, just like that. Can't really see it with that brush, but there. Now the problem with rescaling an image this much is you're going to get a couple inconsistencies. Like let's say, Right here, this is an eye, an eye, but if we scroll up, we see that is black right there, black right there, the side of the mouth is missing on these two, that one's like that, but fortunately, I have an extra that has already been edited. 
So all the mouths are the same, eyes are the same, everything's fine. It goes through the animation perfectly without the uh, face looking like it is morphing into an amorphous blob. So that is the image that we're going to use. And then ever, after everything is done, all your editing, just go ahead and save the image. There we go, save. And it saves it as the PNG image. Now all we need to do is bring this image, the portal.png image, into the minecraft.jar folder. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and put the image into the folder. What you're want, going to want to do is open up your roaming folder, which is easily accessible by going to the start menu and doing percent app data percent. I just access and right there, I just accessed it so much I actually made a shortcut on my desktop, so that's just how I get to it. Anyway, going to want to go into dot Minecraft. We want to go into your bin folder and the Minecraft.jar. You won't see any of this because I keep backups for everything. Minecraft.jar and you're going to want to have a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. I prefer 7-Zip because, again, it's free and it's actually very good and very uh, useful. So you're going to want to right-click, go to 7-Zip, and open archive. That's going to open up the archive. Then you're going to want to scroll down to textures. This is a new folder with 1.5. Go to blocks. And then what you're going to want to do is grab the portal texture, just like here, and just drag it in, just like that going to say yes it is now in there all I need to do is open up Minecraft and see if it worked all right guys here we are in Minecraft it's the moment of truth let's go ahead and see if our animation worked and remember we are since the new texture pack options this is the default Minecraft texture pack because all my other texture packs are incompatible thanks to the new thing this is default so we are playing on the default texture pack no no little jokes or anything here 16 by 16 but we now have a 64 by 64 custom portal texture. That is how you do it, guys. Uh, there's also, if you want to slow the textures down or anything, you can make a text file that is the same name as the uh, image. So let's say this is portal, or if you want to do uh, obsidian, then you just, it's obsidian.png for the image. You would do obsidian.txt. And for all, each image frame that you want, the frames play at uh, one every 100 milliseconds. So it's 10 frames a second. So it takes this image 1.2 seconds to play its complete animation. You can make a text file that goes through, uh, that has, you can specify the speed and uh, order that the frames are played. So you can do, let's say you want one frame to play every second. You do one, and then you do an asterisk 10. So that multiplies the time by 10. You just do comma two asterisk 10, comma three asterisk 10. So it just makes each one play by, it multiplies the uh, animation time by 10. So that is, uh, we're just going to go ahead and keep it like this, but that's how you slow down and or speed up images. Anyway, that is how you get custom animation textures in Minecraft. Works for both blocks and items. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.